Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. Today we have another subscriber suggestion, this time from someone called Hello Hello. So let's have a massive hello to Hello Hello. No. Now he has commented that he wants a 4x4 cave door, but amazing. Now of course, I can't ignore a plea for help like that, so here is my 4x4 cave door, but amazing. So here is my 4x4 cave door design. Now, it's not the smallest design on YouTube, <laughs> shocking I know, <laughs> but it pretty much is the most perfect design. Now what do I mean by that? Well yes, the redstone is still nice and compact, but also the build is very fast, and it just works really nicely. As you'll see here, when I flick the lever, as you see, all the blocks pretty much get placed at the same time, which makes the build look really nice. When we flick the lever off, it's just a really satisfying door. Now to contrast this, what I've done is I've built a design over here. Now I built this design about two days ago. Now this one is a lot smaller than this one, but it's just not as good as that one. Because <laughs> when I flick the lever, as you can see, it's just an ugly door. All the blocks get placed at different times. It just doesn't look as good. So that's why I'm doing a tutorial on this design. Now another reason why this design is so good is because the redstone can be shared when placing it back to back. So if we want a door on both sides, which we have here, click the lever, we have a door on this side and a door on this side, the redstone is nice and easy to share. So now you've seen the design, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need one regular piston, 20 sticky pistons, four observers, four repeaters, eight redstone torches, 22 redstone dust, one lever, 20 blocks for redstone to go on, even however many blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start this build, have a six by six square like this, so an inner square of four by four, as you can see there. After you've done that, what I want you to do is place a block toward the back and one down, move this block and have a sticky piston facing here and one up here. So it's bang in the middle like that. Then a block here and have a sticky piston facing toward the middle. Move that block, place a block here and another sticky piston. Move that block, place a temporary block on top of that piston. Piston here and one up. Move that block. Block behind this piston and have two sticky pistons facing inward and two here. And we can remove that block. Now we can repeat this on the other side. So block here, sticky, move that block. Block here, sticky piston, move that block. Block here and two sticky pistons up, move that one. Block here, two sticky pistons like this and two here. Move that block and then we want to repeat what we did here but on this side facing downward. So block here, one up, remove that block, sticky piston facing downward here and one here and remove that block. Now that surprisingly is the hardest bit done because the redstone is so, so simple. Honestly, it's so simple, I'm gonna do it all in one take. Okay, so what I want you to do is place a block here and one up and one here and two observers facing downward like that. Okay, so the faces should be facing upward. Then place a temporary block here, one down, move that block and one here and have observers facing upward like this. So the faces should be facing downward. And then we can do the same on the other side. So two up, one to the left, two observers facing downward like that. Two blocks, one to the right, and two observers facing upward. Okay. Now what I want you to do is place a block here, one toward the back, and we want four blocks. So one, two, three, and one here with dust on them like this. And then we want to place a block here, one up, move that block, have a torch on this side with a block on it, torch here, and we want a decoration block like this. And whilst we're at it, we can place the decoration blocks in like this. Okay, so all the way up. Okay, like that. Then we want to place a block here. Whoops, one here with dust on it and it should turn on because that torch is powering that block. Then a block here and one up. Move that block and place a torch here. Then place a block here and facing toward this way, we have a repeater on four tick delay. Then place a torch here and block. Block to the uh, right with dust on it. Dust here, 
one up, one to the right, one up here and one here, one to the left, and then a repeater on four ticks on this observer. Then a block here with dust on it, and we want a piston on the side of that redstone facing this way. And surprisingly, that's all the left side completely done. So if I was going to place blocks in like this, and I grab a lever, you'll see that's that side completely done, and the retraction. Perfect, so we just got to do the right side. So, let's place a block here first. Whoops, <laughs> and one up. Move that block. Have a torch here. Block on top. Torch this side. And then a decoration block on top. After we've done that, now we can place in our decoration blocks all up like this. Okay. Then from this block, which is powered, we should take a block with dust on it. We should extend, we should extend, we should turn on. <laughs> then a block here and one up. Move that block. Torch here. Block here from this torch. We want a repeater on four ticks. Then a torch here. Block. Block here with dust on the block. Dust here. One up. One here and one here. Then dust here. And here. Block here with dust on it. Then on this dust we want a piston facing this way. Dust here and a repeater on this observer on four ticks. And that's it. Completely done. So if we were to flick the lever, you see we have our cave door, flick the lever off, and everything retracts. It's that simple. So now we have a cave door on the front, but what happens if you want one on the back as well? So firstly, we need to place the pistons in place. So firstly, place a block, piston here, sorry, and one here. Temporary block here and one out. Move that block. Block here and sticky piston. Have a block here and sticky piston here and here. We can remove that block. And we can share this rest and dust. So sticky piston here and one here. Move that block. And then sticky piston here, here, block, sticky piston, block, sticky piston, and move that block. Okay. Then we want to remove this dust here and this dust here and place dust like this. One, two, and then two blocks. One and two. Okay, now we can do most of the redstone. So, dust here, sorry, dust, that is a torch, <laughs> then a block, and then a block here with dust, which should turn on, block here and one up, torch on top, block here and block here, and dust here, here, and here. And that's completely it. It's that simple. Then on this side, we want torch, block, block, dust, block here, one up, whoops, remove that block, torch, block, like that and block here. Did I just remove that sticky piston? Yes, I did. Oh dear. Let's place it back. There we are. No one saw that. <laughs> then dust here, dust here, and dust here. And that is completely done. So now we can place in our decoration blocks all along like this. And then some of our doors around. And now we can give it a quick test. So if we grab a lever, flick it down here. As you can see, it's all working. Flick the lever once more. Perfect. Just make sure it works on this side. There we are. Okay, so now we have our door completely completed. <laughs> Why don't we wire up some buttons? Yay! So what I want you to do is come down to one of the sides here, place a block like this with a repeater on it like this. Then place a block here, have a dropper facing upward on the side of that block, and a dropper here facing this way. Move that block and have a hopper going in toward that bottom dropper, like that. Then crouch and on top of this hopper, have a comparator like that. Then in this top dropper, place any old block you don't mind throwing away. So you see, it extends. And if we were to power this T flip flop, then the block would cycle around and would have an on and off switch. So if we place blocks like this, have a repeater going into that dropper and blocks like this side, and have a repeater on this side and dust going off in both directions, place a button on this side, and a button on this side, like that. You can see when I press the button, our door opens. And when I press the button again, the door closes. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like this design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, of course, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye!